Welcome to the channel. My name is Matias. Today, we're finally back. I've been very sick over the past couple of weeks. Here in my country, we've been dealing with an outbreak of dengue. And I caught it last week and it just sucks. You pretty much can't get out of bed and you hate life. <laughs> it's really rough. But that aside, today we're going to talk about New Avengers issue 15. Written by Brian Michael Bendis. And we have at least 12 artists credited on this issue. And normally I really don't like it when in a story you have a change of artist. If it's not for a narrative purpose. But in this case it does work. And most of the issue is actually illustrated by Billy Tan. And for the guest artists you do have some pretty big names. You have Brian Hitz. You have Lino Francis Yu. Steve Epting. Just to name a few. So, without further ado, let's get into the story that is firmly in one particular era of Marvel, which was the Dark Reign. Norman Osborn has been able to take over S.H.I.E.L.D. and now has presented to the world his own Avengers. For us, the readers, we're going to know this team as the Dark Avengers, and the lineup was really awesome. He had Marvel Boy, Sentry, Moonstone posing as Captain Marvel. Obviously, he had Norman Osborn using Iron Man's armor and taking up the moniker of Super Patriot. He had Ares being just Ares, Dakin posing as Wolverine, Bullseye posing as Hawkeye, and Mech Gargan the Scorpion that during this time was Venom posing as Spider-Man. And now we have this new regrouped New Avengers lineup that are freaking pissed off over this whole situation, especially Hawkeye who during this time was Ronin. Clint Barton during this whole time was always freaking angry. So the new Avengers lineup would be Mockingbird, Captain Marvel that during this time was Miss Marvel, Spider-Woman, Spider-Man, Wolverine, Luke Cage and Iron Fist, Bucky Cap, and obviously Ronan Clint who was sort of like the leader of the team. It wasn't super clear. So we have the new Avengers seeing on TV the presentation of the Dark Avengers. And they don't know how to deal with this situation. Some of the members of the team want to do a full-on frontal assault on the Dark Avengers. But we got some pretty heavy hitters on the team. Something really cool about this issue is that we have a lot of dialogue amongst the team members. Deliberating what they're going to do. And Brian Michael Bendis really knows how to do this type of dialogue and banter. And give each character their own type of voice. You get to see their personality shine through. It's very well done. Also, the new Avengers during this moment discover that Wolverine has a kid in the first place. And Wolverine is not too proud about this whole situation. Also, during this time, Bendis wrote Luke Cage fantastically. He was a total badass. And prior to this issue, Luke Cage had totally screwed over Norman Osborn. Norman Osborn actually had helped Luke Cage find his child who had been kidnapped by one of the last scrolls after the secret invasion the Jarvis scroll and that whole situation was pretty awesome in exchange for Luke Cage working with his Dark Avengers but what happens is Luke Cage goes to the Dark Avengers offices he goes with Wrecker's crowbar and just goes to town on everyone with it Luke Cage gets his daughter back, but also this is going to lead to Norman Osborn having a special fixation on trying to take down and ruin Luke Cage. Now, back to our new Avengers, what happens is the team's deliberating and Spider-Woman, whom has just come back because she was one of the characters that had been kidnapped by the Skrulls. And her scroll imposter was like the queen of all the scrolls and was the head of the secret invasion in the first place. So no one felt comfortable with having Spider-Woman around because of this whole situation. But what she tells the new Avengers is, look, let me go to the Dark Avengers. Let me talk to Norman Osborn. I have a history of being a double agent. And what we're going to do is that I'm going to tell Norman that she tried to get onto the new Avengers. They don't want her around. They don't trust her. That she is totally willing to sell out her friends. The plan itself, it's pretty naive. We're coming off the fact that, as I mentioned previously, Norman Osborn just got burned by Luke Cage. 
So Spider-Woman goes to Norman Osborn. She almost gets killed. She tells Norman, obviously, where the secret base of the New Avengers is. He knows it's totally a trap. Now, here's the cool detail to this story. Norman Osborn considers taking down the Avengers below him. It's not worth his energy. Surprisingly, he doesn't let his ego get in his way. And instead of sending the Dark Avengers, he sends in the Hood and his small army of D-list villains who during this time had taken over the Avengers Initiative. So the new Avengers are pretty proud because they're going to spring this trap, take down Norman Osborn and his Dark Avengers. When the Hood's forces storm the place and they give the Avengers a run for their money. And the interesting thing here is that the story on each page focuses on one distinct Avenger and each Avenger has a different artist. So that's why we had so many guest artists that I mentioned previously early in the video. It's actually a pretty cool detail. It works for me. And the idea of Bendis at this moment of the story is to have each one of the Avengers sort of question their place on the team while they're having to deal with the Hood's forces. And what happens is the new Avengers almost get defeated and captured. They barely escape. This issue is going to set the stage for everything that's going to go down during the Dark Reign era of the Marvel Universe for the Avengers. But I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Bye.